Recently, I've come across a creator on Instagram named Carl Shakur, and he starts his videos in a really catchy and interesting way. Yo, check this out. Yo, check this shot out. Today we're talking about inspo. Here's three ways. This type of intro can help to pique people's interest while scrolling and help your videos do better in the long run. Even if you create long form content on YouTube, utilizing a technique like this could be of some use to you. So make sure you have a frame in the video where you are not in it at all. And by the way, this effect is gonna work best with a locked off shot. So a shot where your camera is on a tripod. And if you find that there's only a few frames where you're not in the video at all, Go to a frame where you're not in it and hit Shift H. This creates a hold frame, which essentially pauses your video for however long you want and still allows you to add and delete effects to the clip. Since you only need a few seconds of the empty frame until you pop up in the video, let's trim off a good chunk of it by pressing Option and left bracket. And then making another cut about two seconds in by pressing Command B. Then go right before that point in your clip where you make some type of motion or sound effect or any type of movement or sound to sell the effect more and press option and left bracket to trim the start of that clip. If you need to, zoom in and make a more refined cut by going right before that sound or motion and pressing option and left bracket again. Then place that clip over top of the empty frame. Go to the beginning of that clip and go about two or three frames over and press the M key to set a marker. We do this so then we can quickly snap back to this point because this point is where all of the effects will essentially turn off. So now let's start to add effects in this area. So go to your effects browser and first let's add a shape mask. Double click to apply. and create a small oval over yourself. Maybe add some feathering as well. Now make sure you head to the beginning of that clip and we're gonna hit our keyframe buttons. So open the transform parameters and press these three keyframes next to position, rotation, and scale. Then head to that marker and expand the shape mask out fully to completely cover the frame. So basically that inner oval should be outside of the viewport. So now if we go a few frames over, you'll notice you have a shape mask that expands out and reveals yourself. Now that appears to be all that Carl did with his effect, but we're gonna add a little bit more to make ours stand out. Go to your effects browser and let's first add the wave effect. This is a free effect that comes with Final Cut Pro and just double click to apply. Hit the keyframe button on the amount. And since we're at the marker where all the effects will turn off, we'll swing this to zero. Now head to the beginning of that clip, swing it back up to maybe 35 or 20. And you'll see if we go frame by frame that it kind of creates this cool ripple effect. Up next, go to your effects browser, type in prism and double click to apply the free prism effect built into Final Cut. Same thing here, hit the keyframe button, swing the amount to zero, go to the beginning of the clip, and add the amount of this effect that you'd like to apply. Now you may notice a border around the edge of the shape mask, but don't worry, we will take care of this in a second. Head back to your effects browser, type in Earthquake, and this is another free effect that comes with Final Cut, and double click to apply. Just to keep some consistency, let's go back to that marker, hit the keyframe button, lower the amount to zero, then go back to the beginning and add a little bit of that earthquake effect. To take care of this issue that we're seeing around the border, all you have to do is move your shape mask to the end of the layers. Now you of course could add the effects first and then add the shape mask last, but I prefer to adjust the shape mask on a normal looking shot and then just move it to be the most recent layer applied after the process is done if I need to. And if you're thinking, this is a lot of work to do every time I create a new video, just hit the save effects preset button, deselect all of the effects except the shape mask, the earthquake, the prism, and the wave, maybe call it pop-up intro, 
And this is an important step, switch the keyframe timing to maintain timing. This will make sure that the timing of the effects saved in the preset don't change based on the duration of the new clip that you're applying the preset to. So basically by leaving it on stretch to fit, then the effects could last for a few seconds instead of a few frames. So definitely press maintain timing and then just hit save. And then the next time you want this effect to happen, all you have to do is go to your effects browser, go to whatever folder you saved that custom preset in and double click to apply. Recently I've come across a creator. Recently I've come across a creator. And here's another cool option. If you drag the black and white effect to that empty frame clip, you'll have an effect that brings color back to your shot. Recently I've come across a creator. On Recently I've come across a creator on Instagram. Video effects help your videos to become more engaging and unique. And you know what else does that? Audio effects like I teach in this quick tutorial. Click on this video so you don't miss out on learning these cool tricks. Have you done it?